Tenombo leadership might make him unremovable, Obasanjo wants. The same thing Tenombo fought against. Tenombo is coming in, or has come in rather, has come in to actually do the same thing he fought. So all those things when they do in a pretend, you don't pretend for in a finish. You don't show in a true color. You know in detail, please. Former Nigerian President Olusego Basenjo has voiced serious concerns about the implications of President Bola Tenembo's leadership, particularly in the context of Nigeria's ongoing economic difficulties. With his extensive governance experience, Obasanjo cautioned that once Tenembo is in power, removing him through democratic process might be challenging. Obasanjo comments highlighted growing anxiety about Nigeria's direction and significant economic instability, including high inflation, unemployment, and widespread poverty. He noted that despite Nigeria's democratic structures, the risk of a leader becoming difficult to unseat remains a pressing issue. Our experience has shown that once he is in, you may not be able to vote him out. Obasanjo remarked, emphasizing the political dangers of concentrated power. The former president elaborated on the consequences of extending the leader's term, suggesting that whether a leader lives whether a leader serves four or six years, their impacts can be significant. Obasanjo expressed concern that a longer tenure could result in greater harm if the leader fails to meet expectation or implement policies that worsen current problems. If he's not doing well, you vote him out, he said, questioning whether Nigeria's current system truly ensures this kind of accountability. Obasanjo, when it comes that Nigeria continues to grapple with economic hardship, making his observation on leadership and governance particularly relevant. His concerns reflect broader anxieties about maintaining democratic principles and ensuring that leaders remain accountable to the people they serve. Now you see what is going on. Because Tony Mudo entered that place and what you are saying is one term of six years. For what? A single term. We don't want one year of six years. We can do two years of six years. As in two terms of six years. What I mean is three years. Three years. Yeah. Instead of the four, four years. We can do, we can reduce it to three years. Three years. We don't want. I'm even saying that they should reduce it to two, two years. Once you do your first two years, people don't see your distance. They fling you out. But this one, with the way <laughs> people who are supporting this government, ah, you people want to suffer it. I don't know. There's nothing like, no, they don't know. You cannot tell me you don't know what is going on. You cannot tell me that you're still supporting Jagaban because he's doing well. Never. It's not possible. If you hear what is going on behind the scenes, if you hear it, your head goes scatter. In fact, if you're somebody who you have decided that you're going to be in this Nigeria, because obviously you know that, see, at the end of the day, all these Jack at the talk, eh, all these other countries, whatever, whatever, yada, yada. At the, at the end of the day, if you go there, that is why I find it very difficult to, to reason with people where if they go there, they'll say, eh, this thing is how much, how much. It is their currency. When you go there, you face their currency. If you think things are going to get better for you when you get there, remember, say, if you go there, na pounds, na pounds, those people they use, na dollar that they use. So there is nothing, nothing supposed to bring the relationship, say, you won't compare Nigerian money and their money. Say, this one, not this one. Mm -mm. Leave it like that. You understand? They don't make people be say they don't already put my seed and will stay for this country. They then they push them to the brink of, oh, my bless, I will leave this country. Why? Because if you were thinking, do you know only Nigerian problem can make you depressed? And they tell you, if you want thing Nigerian problem, one can combine them with your full-grown problem as an adult. <laughs> My sister, your engine fin knock. I'm telling you, if you just flip your mom, what thing I want their life for? Because all this problem, they are too much. They are too much. So supporting a politician at this time, I will say it is the most foolish thing you will ever do in your entire life. Most especially when that politician has shown you who he is and you refuse to believe. Just like supporting somebody or stay with somebody who has shown you that the person is toxic. You stay with somebody and you call the person your friend and yet the person is in a competition with you. The person is a parasitic person. The person is an abusive person. 
You cannot grow with that person. It is crystal clear. And yet, for one reason or the other, you are in that kind of friendship or relationship. Like, are you dumb? You know, what exactly is your problem? Do you understand? Are you really, really dumb? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. This thing will be the talk. You remember, I said, them, them, then they tackle the bill. Some people go meet her. Some people go meet her. I don't know if you remember the names of the people who meet him, but some House of Reps, even a Senate member, go meet OBJ, say, make him give them support. Say, they won't push for that uh, bill. We'll be say, person will be ready for presidency. Go do six years only. And me, they talk, say, make OBJ no grill. Come out, bow. Now, make OBJ, they come outside, they talk this thing. Then go seeking advice. Then go seeking support. Make him support them. Person we known, person we here OBJ na go tin say OBJ the beef because na so na so majority of na the reason. Say OBJ the beef to number. Say why OBJ the OBJ the fighter. OBJ do this. Me why we say OBJ the talk. Beefy or no beefing. Na thought I've been a lie. Not true. So what are you saying? What are you saying? Look at what is going on. They are trying to break in. APC is trying to break in. Not even APC per se. Trying to break in. Make it be say they control a lot of governors. Eh? Okay. President Tunubu have nothing to offer Nigeria. Nothing truthful is in his mouth. The time Tunubu was a governor of Lagos State, what time watching the tangible things did he do for Lagos? My dear, he increased the revenue of Lagos so that he's going to be stealing it. See, this thing I'm saying, it will be as if me and this person get beef. Me and the president get beef, but we don't get beef. If you really, really know, somebody can pretend for years. All this time they talk, say, uh, in marriage, people know they're not lie. Somebody can pretend for years, 20 years, 30 years. And you only get to know the person's true character later. I've seen movies and scripts. I've read scripts where you see somebody because of what you want. Ingo, do bale, do bale, de humbu, de humbu, de humbu, de humbu. Once that's the hand, I just forget it. The person becomes another. It will be like, say, that person die. Then another person's soul can't inhibit the person's body. I tell you. <laughs> oh God. Nothing tangible. Well, Lagos was in the best position in that time. Even performed more than President Obasanjo. Because he won from the ethic. Politicians will never do anything to better you. See, hear me and hear me well. They will never. If at this point you're thinking that the crop of politicians will sit down for places of authority, will think about you before themselves, you must be joking. That means that if you're rebelling, that means your head is not correct. That you think politicians will leave his tummy in Bele, live in family, really um, nuclear family, live in extended family, can't think about you. You who are you? No, no, no. This question: Who are you? You are not <laughs> That is why I cannot understand why they keep getting some people's support. All right. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy. <laughs>